Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can send birthday emails to employees from SharePoint list using, SharePoint, using Microsoft Power Automate. So what I will do now is I will take you to the system where I will show you what is my SharePoint list and then step by step we will create, the, create a uh, scheduled cloud flow in Power Automate which will trigger every day and then it will check if the email uh, if the employees but there is today and then based on that it will send an email so let's go to the system to let you know that this is my SharePoint site and here you can see a list which I have created and with a couple of fields on this you can see main the important field here is the date of birth column where we have taken the date of birth so just to test it so we put uh, 2023 days which is today's days I put it but uh, you know anytime you can put the original employees uh, date of birth so what we will do here is we will take the uh, month and day part and then we will compare and then send the email so for this I'll create a schedule cloud flow so i will search i'll just open make.powerautomate.com and once you will come here uh, you can uh, see here click over create and then here i will search for uh, schedule cloud flow you can see here i'll give a name for it and if you want to know about schedule cloud flow then i'll put a link in the video description where i have explained what is this flow and how we can use it so I will say say the flow name at say happy birthday you can see here and uh, so uh, on every day it will it will check so that's the uh, thing here because we want every day it will check whose employees birthday is today and then they will send it now click on create so once you click on create you will see here one uh, uh, recurrence will be added and this is the option which will come which uh, you can see here runs every day and this is what we required and next you can see here uh, power automate development is the site name so first what we will do here is i'll click on new step and then we need to get items from that uh, list so i'll search for get items flow action and if you don't know about get items flow action i'll put a link in the video description where i have taken a lot of examples and you will get to know how exactly it, it works so you can see here get items you can see and once you click on get items you provide the site name and in this case either you can go here and uh, enter a custom value you can uh, add the url or you can see here power automate development this is my site url and the list then it will you need to choose the list name and it will uh, say here you can see say hey happy birthday email to employees this is the list name we have taken in the next step what we will do is once we have all the items next what we will do here is we will add a, a compose action here so i'll just search for it you can see this is the compose and with this i will take uh, the value as a date of birth you can see here dob column i have selected from dynamic expression and you can see it is coming to apply to each because for every uh, every item we are going to check so next what we will do here is i will add another compose action why because we want to get the value in a month and date format so ideally i have written already the formula you can see here the first one is you will see format date uh, this is the function that we are going to use and output of the compose so that means it will give the output whatever is coming from this dob column uh, then it will convert this to mm and dd format by using this format date time uh, function here so i'll take uh, another uh, compose here so i'll just search for compose you can see here compose and uh, here the input i will go to this dynamic expression and i will just copy this values here formulas and then i'll click on okay so you can see here now this is what the the date of birth whatever the column we have if i'll just here 9 slash 22 and uh, then the year we don't need the year part so that is the reason we will do this and next what we will do is we'll add a condition because here we will check if it is uh equal to today's uh, month and date then only we will trigger it so i will add a conditional block here so you can see here i have added a conditional statement here and in this case if you'll see here 
first one is whatever the output we are getting from this compose 2 we will check with the current date so you can see here i choose the output is equal to and then look at here to so choose value so which date it will take is it will check which today's date so i have taken utc now and then mmdd that is the format because whenever you are getting items from the list it will come in the same format so i'll go to the expression and i'll just copy it now you can see here so it will check if it is equal that means if let's say today's day it's 22 september uh, and if it is uh, falling in today's date and the any item so if you can see here the first item it is uh, checking here and then you go here what we will do here is now we will send an email so in this case what we will do is we will use the send email action here so send an email v2 action so i'll just search for send an email you can see here send email v2 action i'll take here and on this you can see specify the email address so you can go to the dynamic content you can take employee email and the subject line you can say uh, happy birthday and then uh, you can see here in the form in the body you can write anything so i'll say let's say hi and then i can take the name of the employee employee display name and then uh, happy birthday i'll take like this you can uh, format the message whatever you want and then i'll say cheers hr team now so you can see here now i'll save this flow because in the no condition we are not doing anything and uh, you can see if i'll just go back here uh, you can see here if i'll now go back to my flows then you will see our flow is created already here uh, say happy birthday you can see and then if you want to test it or if you want to run it once you can click on run and then you can see uh, it will take some time and then you can see click on run flow so now the flow runs successfully and uh, you can see here this one time in this history you can see the flow which we wrote you can see it uh, now let's open this just to see that whether our flow triggered successfully and uh, whether it is uh, whether the condition satisfied or not you can see it went to the apply to each block and then go to the condition let's see and then if it is true then you can see it sent an email now what i'll do here is i'll go to uh, i'll open the uh, email of this user you can see this is actually the user so this the user name is the same user which birthday is today we set it and you can see this is the birthday email you can see happy birthday and then uh, happy birthday and this is the message that we were supposed to get it so this is how we can create uh, or we can send happy birthday message from a SharePoint list by using power automate I hope you got an idea about how we can send birthday emails to employees in Power Automate. And if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel where I publish videos on SharePoint Microsoft Power Platform videos like Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, Virtual Agent and SPFX videos as well. Thank you and have a nice day.